Adventure, an unusual and exciting or daring experience. Good morning everybody, it's another good day to have a good day and today we found out that there's a dam and Nick has said that it's amazing, awesome dam with spectacular views that we can do a couple of things. Uh, Nick, explain to me a little bit more about that dam. Okay, so I came up here for a little bit of work quickly and brought the guys with because I thought they'd get great footage and then I clicked that there's this earth dam that they dug out for the elephants that walk up and down the Abahuab to drink out of. So it's a possibility that we can actually do what we want to do. Problem is we need about 60, 70 meters, centimeters of depth minimum in order to do what we need to do. So we're going to head out there in this cold weather. I'm going to climb in and make sure that it's deep enough. And if everything's good, we're going to get some great shots. Okay, it's time to go and shoot this thing. So over there, over there is the water and we're going to walk in, Nick is going to walk inside, um, he's going to walk in the water here and we're going to shoot our drone shots and be begin to plan. When approaching the elephants, please keep a very close eye on their body language. The last thing I want to do is upset the elephants. We're actually on their turf here. Okay, there's an elephant that just walked up behind us. He's walking really quickly. He's mocking us. Just, just keep it calm. Okay. Head to the water. Run, Carlos. Hey, sorry, we're moving. Sorry, 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 we're gonna go, we're gonna leave. Sorry, sorry. Come inside. Come inside. So I'm safe. Carlos is over there. I don't know where Neil is. Oh shit, I don't know if you hopped in the water over there. Slowly, slowly. Come, come. Neil, Neil. Neil. Stay low. Okay, they're safe. Everybody is safe. Here come the guys. That was way. Way too close for my liking. Yo, that big boy came fast. Dude. I can't believe we just got chased by a freaking elephant. 
on foot and I've recorded. Yo, that was really hectic. I just make sure that Carlos is safe. Yeah. Here he comes. How are you doing, Inch? How's your gear, babe? I'm stopping wet. Check my camera. Look at my body. I slipped Carlos' stuff. Let's get back into the vehicle. Let's go. I don't want to hang around. Bro. Right, here comes Carlos. Both of them ended up in the water. How are you doing, Bri? I'm okay. Made it out. Let's get back in. I think I hurt my leg. I might get my gears out. Oh. Holy crap. We're alive though, so. Yeah. What the hell? I wanted to say if you're gonna head for the water, leave your gear on land and just you jump in the water. Jeepers. That was way too close. Way, way, way too close. Here. This is a lot heavier. Oh, this gear took some some strain. Let me just grab it. Sorry, Solos. Look at my hands. Okay. How are you doing, bud? I'm good. Are you I'm, safe? I'm good, yeah, yeah, I'm safe, I'm good. I uh I'm in a bit of pain on my right leg. I think because of the adrenaline is still not kicking in. Once I cool down, it's gonna be a lot, painful, a lot more painful. Africa, man, that's Check what it is. Take this guy out. Have a look at that. In the drink. Show us your drone quick and all your gear here in the light. Bring the drone in the Osmo. My camera's fine. Look at this stuff. You know what? Um, sick here, so the most amazing thing about that, we ran down that side and went there and I jumped into the water, but I saw him go behind a tree and I actually said, whoa, 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 we're sorry. I said, oh, I'm sorry, we apologize. Leave us alone. He stopped, he moved around. I said, cool, I'm sorry, I'm leaving. And then he just walked off into the distance and we continued back. So I've heard it that if you speak to an elephant, if you speak to animals, they understand. But we are in his territory, so I apologized. Said we're not doing any harm and I left. He moved away. Maybe it worked. Uh, yeah, but I apologized to him. Yeah, so okay, we're back sitting here watching the sunset. I've just finished cleaning my camera. Thankful to be alive. I'm thankful to be overlooking this beautiful sunset, beautiful scenery and I live another day and this morning I would never have believed when I woke up this morning um, thinking that I almost uh, lost my life or um, I've escaped death, I've uh, faced fear and um, I'm a better man for it but I know also that there's a lot to learn and there's a lot to explore and a lot to see.